Hey, what's up? My name is Alan, and you probably tried playing Fortnite on AMD graphics card with performance mode enabled and the lowest possible settings, but you're running into problems such as stutters, lag spikes, and just an inconsistent experience. Now, sure, you get high FPS, but that's unplayable. Now, searching online, they'll probably just tell you to ditch performance mode and switch to DX12. The logic is simple. You'll get more consistent frames, but you'll lose the high FPS potential. But it's not perfect too. You'll still experience lag spikes and stutters, but you know, you're, you're kind of just forced to settle for less. Now, that is where I come in because in today's video, I'll be showing you on how to fix Fortnite on performance mode. Yes, fix it because you're gonna be playing Fortnite now on the lowest possible settings on an AMD graphics card with high FPS and little to no stuttering. So let me hop onto my desktop. So right now I'm on Fortnite and I'm just gonna show you my settings once again. So I'm on full screen 1440p, Direct X12 because that's what you're supposed to use to get the maximum amount of consistency in your frame rate and of course on all low settings. But as what I told you at the start as well, this is not the optimal way to play Fortnite. You can actually play performance mode on Fortnite with an AMD graphics card and this is how you would do that without the stuttering of course. So first of all, you want to hit the direct x12 right here you want to hit apply on that and then click on restart now now once fortnite is back up on dx11 you want to head over back to settings and just scroll down and set everything to low so right here i'm just going to set everything to low pass apply once that is done you want to go into performance mode lower graphics fidelity and just press apply and restart now so after you do that on your game settings the first thing that I want you to do is head over to your Adrenaline software. So to do that, you can right click on your desktop, click AMD Software Adrenaline Edition, or start menu and search for AMD Software Adrenaline Edition. Just press open. You wanna head over to the performance tab. Oops, so I just realized in this part of the video, I was actually blocking off, you know, that, that tab on the bottom left. Um, so yeah, once again, you just hop onto the AMD Software Adrenaline Edition, you want to head over to the performance tab and then you want to go to tuning now after going to tuning you just want to go ahead and scroll down here and here is the magic sauce or the magic secret or whatsoever the thing is when you're playing fortnite or some other games um the amd gpus for no apparent reason they never fix it on the driver suddenly just goes down did you see can you see this clock speed i know i'm not doing much right now but it just randomly goes down and up that's the thing that causes the stutter. So that's what we're going to fix. So what I want you to do is click on the manual tuning custom, scroll down, and then on the GPU tuning, you just want this to be on. Now, what we're gonna do here is on the minimum frequency, we want to put this a little high, but uh, let me turn on advanced control first so we can see the actual numbers. We want to set it to around maybe 2260, around 2000 plus. And then for the max frequency, this is a little bit of an overclock but not really i'm just gonna set this to 2700 and that's good for now now on the power tuning we want you to set this to the highest that your amd graphics card can go for so for me it would be 15 percent again full pc specs on the description down below but yeah on the vram tuning you want to turn this on too just for a little bit of overclock as well added performance without really doing a proper overclock just change the memory timing to fast timing after doing that, press apply and you're good to go to the next step. So, oh, and yeah, just for an added tip, if you go to smart technology, you can see this thing right here, AMD smart access memory. Most 16,000 cards and 7,000 cards, actually every card from those series can actually enable this. Now, all you have to do is CSM disable on BIOS, turn on above 4G decoding on BIOS, and also make sure it's enabled on BIOS. It's usually called something like a resizable bar or rebar. Now for me, it's currently off because AMD drivers are very finicky and uh, yeah, I'm losing around five to 10 FPS. So that's fine for me. I'm just saving myself some headache going on and off BIOS and whatsoever. But if this is on for you, then just click enable on the AMD platform. So yeah, uh, pass that one, let's go. For the next part right here, I want you to download a program. It's called the MPO GPU Fix. Now, if you wanna read about what it is about, you can read the one on the GitHub. By the way, links on the description down below, but I won't read it right now. But this applies the 40 series cards, 30 series cards, 20 series cards, 
16 series cards and of course AMD graphics card where this would actually fix a lot of things for us the 5000 6000 7000 series now what I want you to do is press on the latest version whenever you're watching this press on that and just click on the MPO GPU fix that zip now within that you're going to be receiving a file like this oh by the way you need 7-zip or WinRAR to extract it from the RAR slash zip file once you have this exe up on your desktop or wherever you place it make sure to run it as an administrator and then from here you want to copy the settings that i'm about to do so make sure to enable the mpo fix the tdr fix the hgs fix and the tdr level make sure it's on tdr level recover def now for the amd shader cache just make sure that it is on uh, doesn't have to be amd on or amd optimized just press on on it and make sure that amd ulps is also off now if you want to know more about what these specific things does again read the github link down in the description below but now i'm going to restart my pc And uh, yeah, we're on performance mode right now. And as you can see, we're hitting quite some high FPS. It's not really like super duper high. Um, we're playing on 1440p and the FPS is very consistent. Even with this big tortoise right here or kernel. I don't, I don't know what you call that one. Um, and going around the map and whatsoever. So uh, yeah. Okay, but I'm going to cut off that Alan because he's blabbering too much. But I just want to say that this video, although more specifically towards to those who play Fortnite with an AMD graphics card, this video does help everyone that plays other games than just Fortnite. This, or at least the fixes that I included in this video, actually fixes a lot of crashing issues. Specifically, once again, Fortnite, Zoom, Tekken Apex Legends, also the alt tabbing issues when it comes to AMD graphics card. When you get that little flickery or stutteriness when you out tab from a full screen game or a full screen program and it just overall make you know using an AMD graphics card much more viable um, especially because it's just the drivers the actual software is not even just the driver but it's the software of AMD that's causing them a lot of trouble when it comes to the graphics cards but the raw horsepower for the price is actually good but yeah anyway if this video did help hit that like button subscribe share this video with your friends and uh, yeah, comment that comment section below if you have any questions. We also do accommodate questions for specific games on the Discord. So all links on the description down below. And I'll see you guys next video. Have a nice day.